Mm. Right. Ian? Uh, seven. Seven, and Julian? Nine. <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, what did I say? Well, let's just hold on, hold on a sec. We'll just hear that in a minute. We'll hear your seven, Ian. So, uh, it's cuttery. Cattery? Yeah. Why do we keep cuts? <laughs> yes, OK. Well, we might come back to that, because here we have Julian offering a nine-letter word, which is what, Julian? Certainty. Certainty. Oh. Yeah. Well, isn't that a marvellous turn-up? Fantastic. Just when he thought he was down and out of it, because he was 30 points adrift, saved by the bell there, because he's now in with a chance with 70 points. That's fantastic, because he gets 18 points, as I say. Certainty. Well, the certainty is you obviously can't better that, not even equal it. Fantastic. Nope. Could not be more appropriate. But if they ever name a horse after you, I'm going to back them. <laughs> <laughs> Well done. Now, that's put the cat among the pigeons and put Julian right in the game again. So, what, 12... Uh, this is the 13th round. We've had 12 rounds gone. 20 points on the board to be won. So, numbers now. This is numbers, and it's Julian's choice of numbers. Two from the top row and four from the third row. Thank you, Julian. And that's five, ten, seven... Six, fifty, and twenty-five. We're going to be better on our own certainty. We'll come up with a tough one. Nine, two, three. Oh, yes, nine hundred and twenty-three. It's a toughie. Well, there goes the clock. It's run its course, and we're after 923. <coughs> so we look at you, Julian. 924. One away. We look at you, Ian. 925. <laughs> Two away. <laughs> Two away. Julian's in with a chance of the points. Here we go, Julian. Looking at 924. 25 minus 5 is 20. 25 minus a 5 gives 20. Multiplied by the 50 to give 1,000. Yes, multiplied by the 50 to give four-figure number 1,000. 10 times 7 is 70. Yes, 10 multiplied by the 7 gives 70. Um, add the 6 to that to give 76. OK, so you've subtracted the 70 and, and also the, the six, 6 to give 924. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Well, that was a toughie. That was a toughie. The tension is on here. Has it got through to you, Carol? No, Richard. The tension isn't getting to me. I can do nine, two, three. And this is how you do it. 50 minus 7 and minus the 6 gives 37. If you multiply that by the 25, you get 925. And we're looking for the 2, so that's 10 divided by 5 gives 2. Subtract that from the big number, and you do get 923. Well, Julian, let's look at the score now. After all that, would you believe that only, what, four minutes ago you were 30 behind and now you are five points behind? So, as I said at the beginning of the programme, you've got to stay right with this programme. The 14th round is now the crucial round. The winner of this round will be the countdown champion of the seventh series. So here we go. Enough from me. Let us now get our fingers on the buzzers, our eyes on the screen, and ask Cathy to reveal the second and most important of tonight's countdown conundrums. Let's have a look. Epaulette. Epaulette. 
Hey, Paulette. Huh. Well, a very difficult one. It's a difficult one, but you wouldn't expect it to be easy on the final. A very difficult one. And so, what does that mean? Ian, you breathe again because Ian Bevington has fended off that challenge, and Ian Bevington, with a score of 82, is the countdown champion. <laughs> Well, sir, well done, congratulations. <laughs> you are the most relieved man in the United Kingdom at this moment, aren't you? Yes. You stayed on those 82 points for the last three rounds, and on that fourth round, that conundrum, you stayed there as well. So, 82 points, marvellous. Julian, a great comeback. Not quite fast enough, of course, but what a marvellous second half you've given us. And we shall be giving you a book token at the very end of the programme. So, for now, we'll just say well done to you for getting so far but not quite far enough and Ian will have your prize presentation in just a second but after all that we'll just say a quick word from Richard and John what a game what a game but I have to say that actually the champion is sitting next to me because he got epaulette <laughs> during the course of that he actually got the conundrum right so as for tonight our champion Ian Bebbington joins Joyce Cansfield Ash Haji Brian Hudson Peter Evans Andrew Guy and Daryl Francis in the Countdown Contestants Hall of Fame. So well done to Ian Bevington. And now let's join him for the presentation area and John Junkin and Richard Stilgo. Well done, Ian. Well done. Well done. Tremendously exciting. Um, before I give you these, can you assure me that VAT is not going on books? Certainly. Absolutely. Right, you can have them in that case. <laughs> I shan't give you the whole lot, I'll just give you one. Have you got some way of getting them all home? Yes, my wife will carry them. Oh, so. good. Excellent. <laughs> when you've memorised the lot, come back and we'll give you a challenge, mate. Thank you. <laughs> Ian Bevington, well done. Very exciting final. Worthy champion. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. So, once again, Congratulations to our champion, Ian Bebbington. Marvellous performance. Deposed our number one seed, and there you've just seen, got rid of our number two seed. So, worthy countdown champion. And many commiserations too, plus this, which is £100 worth of book tokens, to our runner-up, Julian Huff. A marvellous performance. Two nine-letter words in the final. So, a terrific performance there from Julian. Well, that's it from this edition of Countdown and indeed this series. But never fear, we shall be back early in the new year. So until then, have a marvellous Christmas. And from all of us here in the Countdown studio, bye-bye.